Hi everyone, welcome to Medina's Academy. As we all know, the drinking and alcohol have harmful effects on our body. So today in this video, we will see which are those medicines that should not be taken with alcohol, and even if you take it, then what is the solution for it? So let's begin. First, let us understand what happens to our body when we drink alcohol. When we drink alcohol, the ethanol compound in it is readily absorbed in our body. Almost 80 to 90 percent of the ethanol is metabolized in our liver. That means liver is the major organ which washes out the alcohol from our body. Now the enzyme alcohol dehydrogenase in the liver transforms alcohol or ethanol into acetaldehyde. It is an intermediate toxic compound and harmful for our body. However, acetaldehyde is generally short-lived and it is quickly broken down to a less toxic compound called acetate by another enzyme called aldehyde dehydrogenase. Now think if any medicine blocks this aldehyde dehydrogenase enzyme the aldehyde would not be converted to acetate so the amount of aldehyde would keep on increasing in our body so now let us understand what happens when this toxic compounds keep piling up and how dangerous can it be the reaction starts immediately after taking the medicine 10 to 30 minutes after drinking alcohol in this you may have headache in the beginning which increases gradually Then you might feel dizzy and start vomiting. There is an excessive sweating and your face and upper chest part starts turning red. Later you may experience difficulty in breathing and have blurred vision. One might even have chest pain and palpitations. And if the level of toxic compound increases too much in a body, then there can be dangerous situation like heart failure which can also lead to death. This reaction is called disulfiram like reaction. So now let's see which medicine can cause this disulfiram like reaction. The most important medicine that you must remember is metronidazole. Normally we know it by the name of metrogel or flagel. This medicine is prescribed normally in stomach, dental and vaginal infections. Commonly this medicine is also prescribed after tooth extraction. Many of us also tend to take this medicine on our own to treat diarrhea. Next medicine tinidazole also belongs to the same group and it is even prescribed for the same reason. Now let's see how many days after taking the medicine one can drink alcohol and after how many days after drinking alcohol one can take medicine. This thing is very tricky and important. If you are taking metronidazole then you should not drink alcohol for 2 days after taking the last tablet. And if you had alcohol today and you want to start the course of this medicine then you can start that medicine after 12 hours. So basically there should be a minimum gap of 12 hours in which the toxic compounds of alcohol can get flushed out of our body. And if you have taken tinidazole then you should not drink alcohol for 72 hours that is 3 days. There is one more important drug ketoconazole which is used for fungal infection. It is also available in the form of shampoo which is prescribed for the treatment of dandruff. As this is applied topically on the scalp, it will not interact with alcohol. But if you are taking this medicine in the form of tablet, then you should not take it with alcohol as it can cause the same problem. Next medicine is propanolol. This medicine is used in the treatment of blood pressure and sometimes in migraine. This drug helps in reducing blood pressure. And now if you see alcohol also reduces the blood pressure in our body. So if both of them are taken together then there is a chance of sudden drop in blood pressure. Therefore these two things should not be taken together. Don't drink alcohol at all for one week after starting this medicine. And even if you've been taking this medicine for long time and recently your doctor has increased the dosage. So even in that situation you should not drink alcohol for one week. Now let's talk about one of the most commonly used medicine paracetamol. Drinking a small amount of alcohol while taking paracetamol or ibuprofen is usually safe. But it should be used with caution if you have certain health conditions such as liver problem or if you are a chronic drinker. As both alcohol and paracetamol are processed by the liver, the combination of these two when taken together can be dangerous and harmful. If you are taking anti-anxiety or anti-epileptic medicines like diazepam, clonazepam, lorazepam, buspirone, then you must avoid alcohol intake. Taking alcohol with these medicines can cause unusual behavior changes, difficulty in breathing, drowsiness and dizziness. 
If you are on warfarin therapy, then alcohol should be avoided as it can cause internal bleeding in some people. Also, it may have opposite effect like blood clots, stroke, and even heart attack. You should take good care if you have diabetes. Drinking alcohol with diabetic medicines like metformin may lead to abnormally low blood sugar levels. So there are thousands of such medicines that can interact with alcohol and can be harmful for our body. Also many medicines will not be absorbed in the body when taken with alcohol and so we will not get the required relief after the medicine. So if you ever wish to drink alcohol while being on medicine then do consult your doctor. That's all for today. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.